Let's talk about video time code. Back in the 20s, to create the illusion of motion, a standard uh, was agreed among the community of movie making to film 24 frames every second, 24 FPS. Each frame in a film strip is identified by a unique label. It's called a time code. That label or time code has four numbers, each one with two digits. One with the hour, the second one for that frame, the minute, the second, and which frame within that second we're talking about. In the first hour, the seventh minute, the 27th second. This is the frame number 05. Consecutive time codes, like this ones you see, uh, from uh, 1 hour 30 minutes, 15 seconds, frame number 22, 23, and then the next second, second 16, and the first frame, which is 00, zero and 01 zero and zero 02. For a particular second, frames count from 00, zero to 23, 24 frames per second. Back in 1941, the NTSC, the National Television System Committee, got its standards approved by the FCC to broadcast 30 frames per second. That's right, faster rate than the movies. That worked quite well in black and white TV. They were able to transmit 30 frames every second, no problem. But when TV went color, it took a little bit more to transmit each frame now that you had also to send the information for color. So we could not transmit 30 frames per second anymore. We could not. We could transmit at most 29.97 frames per second. What does it mean? It means that at 30 frames per second in an hour we would transmit 108,000 frames. But now that we know we can transmit only 2997 FPS, in an hour we can transmit only 107,892 frames. That is, we are short by 108 frames. You and I would think, so, well, what's the big deal? It's not much of a difference. However, the TV networks didn't think so. Because for them, time is money. Those extra frames every hour was wasted money and made scheduling rather difficult. So they decided, let's drop 108 time codes out of every hour. So when the hour ends, the time code hour counter advances correctly. Drop time codes. Yes, drop time codes. Drop labels, not actual frames just the labels, okay? It is as if we had a building with 14 floors from 1 to 14 and uh, that is the elevator panel. Uh, but we found that uh, the buyers were rather superstitious and nobody wanted to buy an apartment on floor 13. They thought it was bad luck. What do I do? Do I take away a whole floor? Oh no, what I do is I eliminate the label 13 and reorganize all the others. The floor is still there, but now I call that floor 14. You see there is no label 13. I just played musical chairs with the labels, that's all I did. Well, we do the same. We need to get rid of 108 frames in an hour. That means we need to discard 18 frames every 10 minutes. That is right. Hmm. How do we do that? Well, easy. At the beginning of each minute, in that second, the first second of the minute, we drop two labels, two time codes, 00 and 01. Remember, we're not dropping the actual frames, only the labels. But the problem is, if we drop two frames out of every minute, in 10 minutes we're dropping 20 frames and we need to drop only 18 time codes. We're dropping two time codes, too many. Well, easy. On the 10th minute, we drop nothing. Hmm, how does it work? Like this. 
skip the time code 00 and 01 at the beginning of every minute, but not for minutes that are multiple of 10, like uh, 0 or 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, etc. No, those are whole. Are we losing video information? No, we're not. We're not dropping frames. We're only dropping the labels or time codes. The frames, they remain. Here an example. When we have those labels, how can we tell if we're using the drop frame notation or the non-drop frame notation? Because of that separator between seconds and frames, you see. When we're using the drop frame convention, the separator is a semicolon. When we're using the non-drop frame convention, the separator is a column. That is a, a, the standard. Down here, we see how on uh, second 59, we go through the last frames 28, 29. Remember, we're transmitting 30 frames per second. And then we go to the next second, which is uh, second 0 of minute 30. And 30 is a multiple of 10. So that means that the first second of minute 30 is complete. So we have frame 00 and 01. And then near the end of that minute, we have minute 30, second 59, frame 28, 29. And then we go for minute 31st. 31st is not multiple of 10. So that means that the first second of that minute will skip frame 00 and frame 01, the labels only, not the actual frames. When the video is not going to be broadcasted, we use consecutive time codes. That is, we drop nothing for any minute. That is also known as the non-drop frame notation. In Europe, because PAL transmits only 25 frames per second, they do not run out of time and they can use non-drop frame all the time. In America, we use drop frame only in NTSC when we're broadcasting that. A curiosity. When silent movies in 24 FPS were broadcasted on TV at first, they were broadcasted at 30 frames per second, of course which made them look like a little bit faster than they were shot, like 25% faster than they were originally shot. We have grown used to seeing those old movies on TV sped up, but in theaters they moved at regular speed. Let's have a look at this old film from the 30s, a silent footage from Australia. And uh, while you watch that, I want to say you, well, Good night, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.